Hey, what is up, guys? It's me again, MCBC LMNOP QVRS two two zero four four three zero twelve. Today, I've got the latest new gadget. It is the PlayStation Portal. It's quite light, yeah. It's a little heavier than the Vita. I just realized how dirty my mouse pad is. Fun fact: the best way to clean your mouse pad is with a damp cloth. So let's just do that. Difference? Did you see the screen? This is the best way to clean your mouse pad. Is it still looking dirty? It's looking so clean to me over here with the naked eye. But this damp camera picks up every piece. Get the cloth damp again. There is another way to make sure that your mouse pad doesn't collect any dust, and that is don't live on Earth. I apologize. I should have done this before the video and not after. But anyway, this is just for your peace of mind. Know that I did it. Clean it. How's it looking? Oh man, now to clean the keyboard. Ah, that's much better. Another trick you can use is just bring the exposure down of your video, and you'll be able to see less dust. Let's continue. साइज रेफरेंस से लग रहा है कि वो कंट्रोलर को काट कूट के बनाया ये वाओ Where do we begin? किधर रखो कंधे पे रखो इसे So I'm gonna try and tell you everything you need to know so you can make an informed decision on whether you want this or not because it does exactly this one specific thing. It streams your PS5 to you wherever you go. There are people who take their entire PS5s with them when they go on holidays or they go traveling and stuff like that. I know it's crazy. I can relate because uh, the times I do travel. I can hear my PlayStation calling out or whispering my name in the wind. I'm just gonna put this down. I'm scared. I'm gonna drop it. So, क्या बताऊँ तुम लोग को? मेरा घर में fruit fly. Ah, sorry, that's a different story. In my personal opinion, I feel like the PlayStation Portal is for it's for people in relationships. It's for people who have to share a TV with other people, like people in relationships, people who are married, people who are obsessed with gaming but also have to travel a lot, people who don't want to sit in front of their TV and have to put the TV on. So that they can put their PlayStation on. Uh, people who want to just vegetate in bed, like chilling out in a game. Me, I am people. Parents, I think this is a big one. What I would have given to have the PlayStation Portal when my child was a year old, two years, three years old. I think it's still going to come in handy because we're uh, <laughs> still going to be in competition with each other for access to the TV. I feel like people who don't have to share their TVs with other people or like single people, you're not gonna. Understand it, or uh, you might probably be even annoyed by it. I don't know. Does it work well? Great question. I'm so glad I asked that myself. Sony officially says that you need a minimum of five Mbps, but for a better play experience, you need a minimum of fifteen Mbps. Okay, we have come to the Drizabs house, and Mr. Drizabs has not one but two <laughs> ISPs. So let's see how this goes. Okay, trying out Need for Speed. So this is now on Cyril's Wi-Fi network. Are you feeling any kind of latency? Absolutely that looks good. Absolutely not. Sick. Looks good also. Yeah, yeah it looks really good. The screen is crisp, bro. Nice. Man, that's very good. Correct, no? Correct. Very correct. We're now gonna switch over to Geo. Previous one was his local uh, internet provider. It was also my internet provider. Oh, good driving there. Really. <laughs> Okay, next test on uh, Geo Fiber, and he's sitting right next to, <laughs> right next to the router. So let's see how that goes. If you're streaming from one location to another location altogether, then it doesn't matter whether you're using 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. But if you're locally streaming to your to this device, you should use 5 gigahertz because it's got more bandwidth. Okay, quick observation: you automatically end up. In this position, can you go closer? Is that comfortable? No, I feel like I need to stretch out a bit. Yeah, and little... and you need a little bit of support for the forearms. Yeah, yeah. This feels really comfortable. Okay, we are now on Mr. Diab's Geo network. What speed is it, sir? This one is 500 Mbps. 500 Mbps. Five uh, gigahertz. You connected to the five gigahertz? Yeah, I did connect to the five gigahertz. Uh, What think... happened? You destroyed my I PS5. Destroyed the... Latency? Um. <laughs> <laughs> 
कितना बात हाँ जिसको चाहिए ले लो जिसको नहीं चाहिए अच्छा थिंग आई सी अच्छा लाइक करो लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल आईकॉन So if your setup is good it does what it says and it does it really well. What do you need? Lots of money, good friends, family, peace, happiness. But let's get back to this video. You're going to need a good internet connection on both sides. Good internet connection, what does that mean? Decent upload and download speeds. It means you need a stable internet connection. If you're fluctuating between 15 and then dropping down to 3, 4 and stuff you're going to have a problem so you need something that is going to stay stable okay i think that that's far more important than having like a super high speed connection but of course having a high speed connection definitely helps your ps5 has to be in rest mode it cannot be on full shutdown you definitely need a good router now i've been using my asus ax82u love you too i would say preferably something that has at least a dual core processor in there i've been using it for streaming pc vr and it is flawless asus bless you sony definitely refines its products as they go along and i'm hoping they do the same with this the playstation portal does nothing other then stream your ps5 to you you can't watch netflix or any ott apps or listen to music because of copyright protection which is why i'd like to be able to install those apps on this come on you can do it netflix prime i know ki tum log kar sakte ho please bhai log spotify amazon music am i audible if sony does that that would really be the icing to this proverbial highly specific use case cake Sony please as a Sony kudi form factor I love this form factor it's so weird when you first look at it and you take it out of the box you're like ye kya hai ye hathoda kisne bheja as you go along it's not too heavy it's not that light either I don't think you could hold it like this for a long time something else I would have liked I'm already planning for the PlayStation Portal 2 Sony I hope you're listening this screen if it could just rotate slightly just a little bit because this is comfortable for my hands this is this is great but this is more comfortable for my eyes it would add just one extra level of comfort if it could just rotate slightly just a little bit so the PlayStation Portal 2 will have a screen that goes like that if a two happens that is i've already ordered a screen guard for it and a carrying case just to keep it safe So in conclusion, who is this for? I don't know. You tell me. I would say if you have high-speed internet, you have a good router, and you have a PlayStation. Initially, you're going to be like, "Hey, kya hai? Kyu? Kaisa? Kab? Kaha?" But over the past two weeks, uh, using this, I found myself uh, logging into the PlayStation more because I don't have to put the TV on and sit on over there and all that stuff. I can just pick it up like when I'm lying down on the bed. Jose, 
Jose. Racing games, flawless, turn-based games, superb for someone like me. I love that I can now play it on something like this. But I also see how there's a section of people who are not going to understand this and it's not going to fit into their lives. But uh, I can just see the parents rubbing their hands right now going, Hmm, my child is here and my other child is Also very important, your PlayStation 5 needs to be connected to an Ethernet cable. I'm sure it'll work with Wi-Fi also, but uh, an Ethernet cable will give you more bandwidth with more stability so connect your ps5 to an ethernet cable so before you decide whether you want to buy this thing or not go everywhere and do speed tests for at least a week <laughs> but if you're playing competitive shooters then i don't know i mean like there's gonna be that split second delay maybe a little bit of latency but otherwise the latency when the setup is perfect is actually quite mind-blowing it performs way better than i expected Look at that, the screens are like almost doing it exactly the same time. The screen is beautiful, which is why all the more, come on, Sony, OTT, OTT apps please, please. Does anyone want to like start a petition? If I've missed anything, please feel free to ask me questions in the comment section. Hit like and subscribe to good channels and also this channel if possible.